Hello everyone, welcome back. Today let's solve the 10th question from lead code SQL 15 interview question. Uh, in, in, this, in, in the problem statement, they have given a table called activity, uh, which has information about uh, machines and the processes which are running on the machine and when the process started uh, and then also when the, uh, it got ended. So that's what it, it contains and the timestamp when it started, when it ended. For example, uh, it, imagine like a, it, this is like a system like a, you, you have your own PC. So on top, top of PC, there will be multiple processes they run, right? Including the one which is the, the, the one lead code website which you see here. This is running behind the scene on, on lead code server, lead code machine, right? Similar to that. So there will be multiple people who will logged in and then there will be sessions, something like that. So similarly, you have machine ID. So this is the machine, there are three machines, 0, 1, 2, there are three machines uh, in this example. And then each machine has two processes. So this is the process 0, it started at this time and then the same process got ended at this time. On the, on the same machine 0, uh, there is another process called 1, uh, process ID 1, which starts at some time and ends at some time. So what they are asking is, they are asking us to find out the average time it takes average time on each machine. Uh, how do you calculate average? So we have to basically check at each process ID how much time it is taking and then divided by total number of um, you know records, records how many unique records. So what, what I mean by that is how do I calculate average uh, time it takes at this at, on, on this machine is very simple. So we have to take out the time which on, uh, for this process, let's say, uh, let's go with the process 0, we just have to subtract, um, you know, we just have to take this minus this. So when the process got ended, minus when got started. So this will give us the time uh, to start to complete of process 0 on this machine, plus subtracted result of this. So subtracted result of these two. So this plus this divided by 2, because there are two processes in this right on this machine will give us the average time for this machine average time for this machine there are two processes which we just have to calculate how much time it took from end uh, start to end uh, plus process 0 plus process 1 time divided by 2. So that is what they have explained here. So it is a simple task if you understand through um, visually how do you how do we how, basically we have to bring this somehow we have to bring this bring it here somehow we have to bring um, you know start time for this process end time somehow we have to bring it here this these two are in the in this column so in this row itself if i bring this if i bring something like this what i have to do is what i'm i have to do what i'm trying to say is if i bring somehow for the same process right process machine 0 process id start time at this end time at this Somehow, I have to bring these two values to the column. So, so that what I can do is for this process, I can subtract this minus this. This minus this will as give us the subtracted result. So, difference between uh, how much basically time took for the zeroth process. Similarly, for one, for one process one for zeroth machine. Uh, sorry, for, for process, yeah, right, process 1 for 0 machine. So, this time is this and start time is this. If I somehow, if I am able to get this and, and subtract this minus this, so here I just subtract. So, if I am able to somehow get this, so then my, my task is very simple. So when I get the difference, I just have to take an average and group by on this average on average and subtracted values and on group by on this for each of these users. So how do I how do I get this? You know, all these values here. That's a question. So that what what we have to do is we have to pictorially, uh, uh, you know, visualize this. Imagine we just have to same data what I did is I copied into another uh, word document. So it's the same table. 
so what i have what i'm saying is here is we just have to create a we just have to create two tables so table 1 a1 from the same table so we just have to self join so we just have to replicate the same table so a1 and a2 which are getting cloned right a, they are clone of each other so what i have to do is i just have to join this these two these two from this table a1 table what i have to do is i just have to take this information from a1 table i take this one from a2 table i take this one so that's how that's how i i get this values these values one after another so these values will come here these values will come here so it becomes easier for me so how do i do that so i just have to select this uh, machine id process id activity type from a1 i just have to mention from a1 i just have to mention activity type equal to start from a2 i just have to mention i want all the activity type equal to end and join now i get this i, I have to join on what on machine id and process id to get the corresponding values so let's execute and see what i'm trying to say so let's let's see uh, i i told we need two process uh, two, two tables right so we i just have to uh, what i have to do is i just have to clone these two tables clone as in alias right self join self join i have to do self join so let me just uh, select i'll i'll see what all things i have to select uh, but let me just copy the table name activity is the table name activity i'll say a1 join again activity a2 a2 now on what i have to join i have to join based on 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 a1 here i just have to join on machine id sorry a1 a1 machine id equal to it is machine id and i also have to i have to also join process id right so this is a1 i am keeping cap locks on that's reason i'm just copy it here a2 so this will give me this will give me from what but basically what i'm saying is you take take you join these two tables based on based on these two conditions these two conditions from this you take this from you do take this so so corresponding machine ids and then corresponding processes will come if i join based on only machine id so there will be multiple records so so that's the reason i have to get the record of the corresponding machine and the corresponding process that's the reason i am joining on two now what i have to activity type from a1 i'll take only start and from a2 uh, i take only end i also have to i also have to tell and from a1 i'll copy this a1 dot activity type equal to i have to copy only start here and from a2 from a2 activity type i want to i want to take it and that's all so let, let's see what i'm what how the data looks like select let's say uh, from a1 process ids are there in both the tables so i'll take only a1's process id i'll also take a1's multiple things i'll take from a1 a1's process uh, machine id also i'll take from a1 i'm just showing you what i'm trying to say here machine id also i'll take process id also i'll take it from a1 and also comma i'll have to put i'm following the coding guidelines best practices um i also have to take activity type 
from both the tip, both the tips. So a1 dot, I'll copy a1 activity type, a2 activity type. It is little lengthier, uh, but if you visualize, the, you will solve many problems with this self-join concept. And I also need to copy a1. I, we don't need all of these in the, in, the, in the output, by the way. This is for our understanding how this is looking like for you to visualize. So that's all. Let's see how the data looks like. So I want to have, let's see if there is any syntax error, no, looks like the good we want to take from here, if you see, I want to take a machine ID, process ID and activity type from A1, that is what I wrote from A2. Anyway, I, I join A2 also have a machine IDs and a process IDs. I don't want that because they are the same values. But however, I need activity type as n. I don't need uh, because if you join based on these two, so you will get multiple records. So you need only n and corresponding time as well so that I can easily do a subtraction from join I on, on this A1. Okay, let's run and see if there is what we get. We will not get the expected results by the way. At least we get what we we can do alias here as uh, thing. So it's basically if you see here, what it's saying is at zero, zero process started, start time is this, start time is this, and end time is this, end time is this. And on machine mode, zero process ID one started, start time is this, and end time is this. So somehow I was able to get the, using self join, I was able to get these values. So that's all, I, I, what else, uh, output Output needed as a machine ID and process time. So for each process, what I'll do is, I'll, I don't need all of these. Uh, this is, I just wanted to show you guys. That's the reason I added. I need machine ID. Um, I'll just rename as, anyway, it is giving me as a machine ID itself. I'll keep it as is. That is what they needed. However, I will subtract these two. I can, I have to subtract this minus this or else I'll, I'll get a negative values. So that's the reason I'll say like this as maybe let's say so I'll, I'll, as I'll just say process time. Okay. So, uh, that is what they need. Okay, maybe let's say I'll say uh, time diff, time difference. Okay, this is what what this will give me. Let's let's see what this gives. For each process, for each machine ID, I am getting as a, this is what they, they this is what for each each machine I am getting each machine I am getting this this is. But what they are asking us is to find the average. So what I'll do is I'll I got the result. I, all I have to do is I just have to group by group by on this and take an average by grouping all the IDs. Um, to make this, this is a complex query, right? So what we have to do is we just have we can use uh, a, a common table expression. So basically, we store these values, whatever we calculated in a temporary table called uh, CTE, uh, common table expression, and then use that table to calculate average. That's all. We are almost there. So what I'll do is I'll I'll put this as with the it, it is city has got its own syntax, so I'll I'll mention as um, process time process uh, time city as this is the coding standard again. I'll just press tab as. bracket and close. So this I, I get as a one, one, it's like a temporary table. All I have to do is now select, select a machine ID, 
day difference uh, time sorry time difference from from this city that's all this is as let's say as they need as a process time so i'll i'll mention at this but again this will not help us in, in getting what we need uh, but at least we will get the values same values what we presented before now what we have to do is so here we have to take an average avg average of each machine group by group by machine id so this will give us the average hopefully we should get the results okay we are almost there so we just have to remove these extra stuff so again there is a function called round which will round up these values comma 3 because I think they are asking us to t 3 so that's all so yeah looks like uh, test, test case is passed so let's submit all right uh, it is accepted it is simple to revise so we are creating a, a self join table with the joining on the same table and we are also um, creating a, a temporary table called uh, a common table expression and using that common table expression we are uh, grouping the machine ids uh, and taking the average of that time difference that's all guys uh, this is a very interesting problem if you understand how self join works if you visualize how self join works you can solve lots of problems um, thank you. Thank you very much for watching. See you in the next video.